To do a void or a refund, you'll want to press the purple key on the far left-hand side one time, and it'll say void and refund. Voids are what you do if it's the same day and you need to delete a transaction. It's a menu-based system, so once you enter it, it'll ask you if you'd like to void the last transaction, yes or no. You can select whichever is appropriate. Uh, if you select no, though, it will ask you how you'd like to pull up the transaction, either by the invoice number or the account number, and that's the credit card number. Uh, most people do it by the invoice number because those show up on your receipts. Um, if you select invoice number, it will ask for it, and you'll just type in your invoice number, and it will show you the transaction on your screen. If this is the transaction that you did need to void, you'll select yes. If you'd like to see the other transactions in the terminal, you can select Next until you get to end of match. So you select Yes. It'll ask you if you'd like to print a customer's copy. And the sale is voided. If it's any day after the same day, you'll want to do a refund. And refunds are basically just like sales. So you'll go into Refund. They will ask for your amount. Confirm the amount, and then it'll have you run the card through. You could swipe it. If it's a chip card, you'll use the bottom, of course, or you can type in the card number if the customer is not there. But either way, it will tell you if it approved or declined, and then you'll get your receipts. Depending on how your terminal's been set up, it may automatically settle for you at the end of the night. If you'd like to, though, you could use the settlement option here to settle out your terminal. Back on your normal sales screen, if you press the purple key on the far left hand twice, you'll see offline. Offline is what you'll do if you're ever running a sale and it says hold. Hold call, hold card, some kind of hold. That means that that card has a flag on it for some reason. Their issuing bank does not know what's going on with it, so they've put a flag on it. If that comes up, you have two options. Your first is to call a voice authorization phone number and get an authorization code or you can just tell them it was declined. If you decide that you would like to call the voice authorization phone number, you would call it, give them the information about the card and the card holder, they will tell you if it's approved or declined, and then give you an authorization code. And then you'll go into offline, and then run the card again. But instead of dialing out at the end, it will just ask you for the authorization code. From your normal sales screen, if you press the purple key on the left-hand side three times, you'll see reversal. Reversal is what you'll do if you're ever running a sale and it says amount due. Amount due 10, amount due 20, some amount is due. That means that, that card did not have enough money on it to cover what you're asking for. But what the machine is going to do is zero out that card for you, take absolutely everything it can, and give it to you. And on the machine and on the receipts, it will say amount due something. And you'll need to take that amount due some other way, with cash, check, or another card. Or you can do the reversal to put the money back on the card. Now, if you go into reversal, it will ask you if you'd like to do a full or a partial reversal. Full will put the entire amount the machine took back on the card. Partial will let you type in an amount. Say they wanted to leave $5 on their card or something like that. Either way, you'll select your choice, and then it will ask you how you'd like to pull up the account, either by the invoice number or the amount. And you just pick whichever one is appropriate, and it will show you your transaction on the screen. Just make sure it's the correct transaction on your screen before you say yes. Uh, do keep in mind that reversals are only for partial authorizations. If it's a normal transaction, you'll want to do a void on that transaction. The last thing I'd like to show you today is how to get your reports. You'll get your reports by pressing the rightmost purple key, and it'll take you to your reports menu. Your totals report is the total amount of the transactions that are currently in your terminal. The detail report will give you the details of all those transactions, the dollar amount, the sum of the card number, the invoice number, the reference number, and things like that. The detail report is the best report to use to find out what transactions are there, or if there are transactions there.